it isn't your old pal Bullseye back again with another comic book haul. I recently hit up two uh, local shops for mostly dollar books. One or two price issues in here. I'll call them out. Um, let's get started. This uh, is Marvel Superhero Island Adventures number one. I think the only way you could get it, it was a giveaway at Universal Studios. So really cool to find that in the dollar bin. Kind of a rare comic because of that. Um, another rare comic giveaway, um, Orkin Exterminator. I'm going to show you the back because this is a flip book as well. This was a Spider-Man. So this is the back of it. And then you've got Orkin Exterminator here. So um, that's also kind of a rare book. I like those kind of giveaways and stuff. So I had to grab that as well. Um, here is a cool book. Um, I collect this run. They had quite a few of them. Um, ones I had non keys, but I needed this one and this one is a key. This is where Killmonger declares himself the new Black Panther, I guess, Kill Panther. And as you can see, uh, I think this ties in with Moon Knight. I believe the issue following this Moon Knight is on the cover. So, And I uh, recently finished this series and loved it like everybody else. I don't have one bad thing to say about it. And I don't really have any Peacemaker books, so I was happy to find this. Unfortunately, it is kind of low grade. The spine is split up here, but... You know, it's a it's a peacemaker key. It's a number one. I'll grab it for a dollar. Um, not that long ago, I had showed the Spider-Man connecting uh, annual. This is the Incredible Hulk annual. Uh, this is the main key out of the three. Also, there's a Deadpool one that they all connect together. Um, but this is the first appearance of Ghost Spider, who is like... Um, a combo of Ghost Rider and Spider-Man. And it was one of the more popular um, Spider-Man outfits in the video game. The PlayStation Spider-Man game. Um, Incredible Hercules. This is a Marvel 70, 70th anniversary like variant. And... Um, cool thing about this is it is the origin of Amadeus Cho. The normal cover has like Amadeus Cho on it with like some floating brains and stuff. So, you know, it's a key uh, issue and it is a variant. Um, Civil War Chronicles number one. I believe this is the first two issues of Civil War. And we have the um, Michael Turner cover there. It, 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 uh, it's obviously not like full size, but just to have that. Um, I don't actually own the Michael Turner variant, so it was cool to get that. Um, we got Wolverine 14. This is Return of the Native Part 2. Um, I have I, I have been collecting this run when it was coming out, so I have it, but I did pick up part one recently, and I think part one is more of a cameo, and this would be the full, and obviously she's on the cover, uh, the native, and this was on my radar because Mercenot had been showing this, just because she has like all the same powers as Wolverine. However, they don't appear to be related. I believe they hook up in that book. Um, mask Returns, number three. First female mask. Uh, I have, like, all the mask books. Um, okay, what else we got? Um, Avengers, number three. A Kang cover where he is fighting um, Thor and Cap. Um, 
Clive Barker, Ecto Kid number one. Um, this was, I, I guess he had said something like this may be being developed for a series. We'll see. Anything can happen, but um, it is one of those 90s gimmick covers I love. Um, it's got foil and the text is raised and stuff, so that is cool. Uh, we got Green Lantern 18, and this is a great Star Sapphire cover, but also it is a first appearance, and I don't remember exactly who it is. Their name was like an alien name, so I'll throw it up on the screen, but figured it was worth picking up because it was newsstand. So, I mean, HBO has been doing great with their shows. Um... So I think that Green Lantern show is going to be good. But um, Spider-Man Classics number one. This uh, reprints Amazing Fantasy 15. As well as Strange, Ch Strange Tales 115. Which is the origin of Doctor Strange. And it's a newsstand. It's kind of an homage to a 15 cover from like a different angle. A couple reasons to pick that up. It is kind of neat that it's Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, especially after that movie. Um, the store what I, that I was digging in, it was a bad idea, like a uh, retailer. And this is the lot number one, first print. So I figured for a buck, I'll grab it. And then my buddy actually beat me to these new dollar bins. Um, I didn't go because it was it was snowing and he found a number one of this series that I had just recently started looking for and he mentioned he left a few of the previous or later issues behind so I looked for them and I was able to find Bigfoot this is number two and this is number four this is a pretty um, kind of low print printed series Steve Niles and Rob Zombie Um, Ferrell's number one, this is the slashed retailer incentive. I just figured that, you know, I like like these gory avatar books. It's an incentive for number one. I always love werewolves. So I grab that. Um, and then I have some video game comics here. We have Gears of War issue four. This is the variant with the game art. Anytime I get a video game comic, I love to get the game art if possible. Uh, also have Resident Evil Fire and Ice number one. I have, um, this is a four issue mini and I have all three other issues. This was what I needed to complete. Yep, was happy to find this for a buck. Completes my run. We got Tekken Forever number one. And I believe this is like First Nightmare Before Christmas in comics. Um, it's like a manga, I think. I'm by guessing by the Tokyo Pop. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the free comic book day issue zero of... Nightmare Before Christmas Zero's Journey. So, grab that. Uh, this was a, a $5 purchase. I had been looking for a number one of this for a very long time. I found one in the dollar bins a while ago. Uh, it was a little too beat up for me. Like, it was pretty beat up. Um, so, I figured, I you know, five bucks, I'll take it. Got uh, Oni double feature number 12 with Jay and Silent Bob as Blunt Man and Chronic there. And I also got a photo variant for issue number one, which I didn't have. Love those guys. Legends. Um, this, maybe I'm the only one who thinks this is cool. I loved this movie back in the day. It's kind of like this weird... Um, Kung Fu movie 
where this dude is like Buddy Holly, but he's like a samurai. Um, so I, this is, I think, my second copy. Obviously, it's a live field cover. I'll, uh, I'll post one of my favorite clips from the movie, I think, for you guys to enjoy. If I were you, I'd run! If you were me, you'd be good looking. That's not nice! Get him! Um, we got Indiana Jones, Fate of Atlantis. Now, I wanted to, I want to start picking up more Indiana Jones comics. Um, and I thought this cover was great. Also, what's cool about this is the Fate of Atlantis was an old Indiana Jones video game, like a point and click adventure, which I played back in the day. So it's kind of like a double whammy. Uh, just grab these. This is our uh, retailer incentive covers for the Highlander uh, Dynamite series. Um, that's issue seven and issue eight. Uh, black and white incentives. Um, that's Scorpion King number one photo cover with the uh, the Rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson on the cover there before he was like the biggest movie star in the world. Um, Anne Rice, Queen of the Dam, number one. I know there's some spec with her stuff, specifically Lestat, an interview with the vampire. I think they're doing something with that, but I figured, I figured this was a good grab for a buck. Um, this was a $5 purchase. It is the third print of the Blair Witch Project. And you can tell because the text is red and there's like handprints on the cover. Like it, it's a little hard to see. But, um, and what's interesting is then the next like day I found this in the dollar bin. This is the first print of it. So I'll get that. And these two issues were $2 each. Um, got Care Bears number two, just a nice clean copy and I don't see the Care Bears pop up that much. So for two bucks, I wasn't sweating it. And then also we got Count Ducula 11 newsstand. And what's cool about this is it's like F Freddy Krueger, um, pastiche here. It says Freddy's back and front, a little nightmare on Elm Street. So, and uh, this is, it's Elm Street, sir. Where are we to meet that Freddy chap? So, I just thought that was really cool how it kind of had Nightmare and Elm Street stuff. So, yeah, those two were $2. Uh, this was a dollar bin find. James Bond Jr., uh, issue number 12. This is the final issue. And we got Masters of the Universe, number three, from MV Creations. Okay, and these three were five each. Uh, I'm real close to finishing my Akira one, a run, so I just wanted to grab these. Um, issue number two. Issue four. And 17. So. Okay. Also, I've, I, I'm pretty lucky. I actually have three copies of the first issue of this series, which I believe would be first Darkstalkers, a.k.a. Night Warriors. Um, but I had never seen uh, any of the later issues for, of this run until... Um, this trip. So I found number two, awesome Felicia cover. And I found number four, beautiful Morgan cover there. Um, 
this is a series I want to complete. I, I enjoyed, this was kind of my introduction to Gundam uh, back when it was on like early, early like Cartoon Network, Toonami stuff. Um, and I have a few of this run, so I grabbed that when I needed it. And then a little more Fist of the North Star. I uh, showed these off, some of these off in my last haul. And this is, I'd like to complete this. This is uh, part four, number one, and part four, number three. And then I have part two, number five. Okay, and then I have just a couple like random back issues I was going to show as well, and that's going to be it for this haul. Um, we have Dark Rain, The Punisher, um, number two, the second printing variant. I like this cover. I just thought it was cool, and it doesn't seem super common. I didn't see that many copies of it, but um, he's kind of got weapons of like all the heroes and stuff, like Ant-Man's helmet. You know, Hawkeye's um, bow and arrow, etc. Then uh, this was Catwoman 82. This is a very early Harley Quinn appearance and cover. That's actually Harley Quinn right there. She is dressed up as a prison guard to escape um, prison. And kind of an underrated book, I think, for, for Harley fans. She's on the covers of most of the other ones she's in that run. But that one, it's not as clear. And then working on my Scud run, really cool um, cover there for Scud 17. And also got 20. Got uh, Scud Tales from the Vending Machine number 3. That's uh, Doug Ten Apple there. Looks like he was the guest artist uh he created earthworm jim although i guess he's kind of since been canceled i don't think he's working on the new one um scud there's more tales from the vending machine number five and then this was the last issue i needed for my all-star batman and robin there is a recalled version of this as far as i could tell this is not the recalled version uh, there's like a lot of like um, uh, curses or whatever, vulgar language, uh, profanity, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, it's like Batgirl saying like fucking shit and stuff and they put like black bars over it. But you could read the original um, one like through the black. So they recalled those. And I grabbed Incredible Hulk 101. Just a part of uh, Planet Hulk I needed. And then I'll end it with this one. Secret Invasion. Um, number five. So, thank you guys for watching. That's all I got uh, this time. If you enjoyed it, give me a like, comment, make sure you're subbed, all that stuff. And I'll uh, put up a few links to my other videos here if you want to check them out. Alright guys, peace. See you in the next one.